Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be about our uh, sand separation system, how that works. But I thought I'd uh, start off by sharing with you guys that this morning uh, Eli, our uh, newborn son, was baptized this morning together with uh, my new nephew. So my, my sister and uh, brother-in-law, they also had a little boy 10 days before we did. So they were baptized together and we were so we were their baby's uh, godparents and they were ours, so I thought that was kind of cool. I thought I'd share that with you guys. But uh, just gonna walk into the pen here. So I've told you guys uh, in videos before that we bed with sand bedding where our milking cows are. So you can see there, these, these cows are all laying down here. So we have deep bedded sand, so there's about six to eight inches of sand in these stalls. And I've kind of talked about why we like sand bedding. It's really comfortable for the cows. It's, uh, they can lay down, they're not gonna get injured and it's easy for them to get up. Plus sand uh, doesn't hold bacteria like other types of bedding would. Sand brings some challenges. Uh, the main challenges are it's really hard on equipment. And if, uh, if you don't separate the sand, you can plug up your manure lines and your manure storage system. So that's part of the reason why we separate the sand. Uh, but I'll talk a bit, little bit more about that when we get over to our manure building. So every time that a, a pen gets brought to the parlor, they'll go in a whole group like this together. And any manure or urine that could be in the beds from the cows uh, laying there will get raked out with a rake. Plus any sand that the cows are kicking out will also be mixed in together in the manure alley here. And that all gets, and that all gets scraped to an auger in the floor here. And I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that here. I'll try to get in the light. So there is an, there's an auger here underneath these grates. And, and that takes our, the manure and sand all the way down to our manure system. So where I am now, it's probably about, it's about 300 feet to the, to our manure building. So it gets augered over there. And then from there, uh, gets pumped into our sand separation equipment. So we'll uh, we'll head over there, and I'll show you guys how that works. I should probably uh, start off by explaining why we want to separate the sand from the manure. And uh, there's a couple of reasons. So the main one is uh, that we, if we recycle the sand and reuse it, we don't have to constantly keep buying sand. We can reuse the sand that we're separating. And the other reason is sand uh, if you try to pump it through manure lines too far it will settle in the manure lines and plug them up and it will also fill our manure storage with sand and over time that sand would need to get uh, either dug out with an excavator or it needs to be extremely well agitated every time you empty the lagoons out which is not easy to do with a large uh, storage uh, yeah with our large uh, storage area so uh, there's quite a bit going on in this room, so I'll try to simplify it a little bit. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So I'll, uh, we'll start off with uh, the reception pit. So this, this is the pit that that manure uh, goes into through, those, uh, uh, through that auger that I showed you. So we have an, an agitator in here. We'll run that agitator a few times throughout the day. We don't want to agitate too much in here because we'll uh, separate the sand from the manure in this pit already, which is not what we want. But, um, on this side of the wall, we have two piston pumps. Uh, the, the far one there is the one that's running right now. This other one is a spare. So that, that piston pump is sucking manure out of the pit and then it pushes it up through this pipe into what we call our sand separators. got two of these sand separators side by side here so the far one there is the original one from when we started here in, in uh, 2009 and we added the second one in 2011 or so I believe so the the sand and manure gets pumped into these separators you can, you can see it coming out of that pipe over there and the idea is that we we uh, dilute it in these uh, in these uh, manure separ manure sand separators, and the sand settles and gets augered up, 
and out the end and the manure will overflow from the back. I can show you that quick. The manure overflows from the back, goes through, through these two pipes here, and goes into this uh, trommel right here. So the, the idea behind this trommel is uh, that if there's any ear tags or blocks or any large pieces that are in our manure, they'll get taken out by this trommel so they don't end up in our manure pumps. We actually just added this uh, trommel and this pump here uh, last week actually. I, uh, that's what I, I wanted to wait to make this video until we were all complete with that so that we just finished that up. We've been running it here for about uh, six days now I think. So then it uh, gets sucked up by this pump here. This pump is designed to handle sand and manure. So it goes up through that pipe up there to that uh, green thing there with the flap on the bottom and that's what we would call our cyclone. So it, basically the way it works is the manure and sand, a little bit of sand that'd be left at, in the manure at that point, goes around in a circle, the sand drops down and settles out and goes back into our manure sand separator there. And then the manure goes out of, out of the top through a pipe. That manure that comes out of the, the manure that comes out of the top of that cyclone goes through that pipe there, down, and through this box again to give it one more chance for any sand that's left to settle out. And then it comes out of this eight-inch pipe here and goes into this pit. So this, and then from this pit here, it can either overflow this pit right beside it through a couple of holes in the wall there or it gets pumped up to our manure separator which is up here up on this ladder so I'm up on this platform now above these two pits that we were just looking at so that pit there there's a pump in there and it pumps up to uh, our uh, manure separator and what this machine does is it separates the solid manure from the liquid manure So the, the solid manure comes out of the end here, it's not running right now. But then it goes up on this belt, and then up out the building where you've seen me move the solids before. And we have this up on the platform because the liquid that comes off of this solid manure separator runs through this six inch pipe and back into our uh, sand manure separator. So we actually dilute the manure sand with separated liquid manure if that makes sense to you guys so it's a little bit of a complicated system but this is what they call a closed loop system so the idea is is that we're not adding fresh water to clean our sand so that that liquid comes out of the bottom of the, the solid manure separator goes through this six inch pipe gravity flows our two sand manure separators so that uh, uh, manure solid separator is not running right now because we also have the ability to use the waste wash water from the parlor so any water that gets used for washing our milking equipment or milk tanks all the floor drains over there goes into a pit and we'll uh, also use that to wash our sand over here so when that pit gets full we use that we'll do that for about four times a day for about an hour each time and then we'll go back to using this uh, solid manure separator the rest of the time to get liquid to dilute the manure to settle the sand out of the manure. So any manure that's uh, not being uh, pumped up to our solid manure separator will overflow out of those holes in between the walls there. And when this pit is full, it gets pumped to our manure storage. And we also have this, uh, we added this when we added onto our heifer barn here would have been uh, fall of 2020. So this uh, eight inch manure pipe comes from our from the manure pumps in our heifer barn. And that also get, goes into this pit. And then 
goes together to our manure storage. So we have the ability that these two pipes here go to two separate uh, manure storage lagoons. So we have the ability to pump to one or the other the way that we're set up here. It's, uh, it's pretty complicated, so it, uh, if you have questions or like me to uh, explain something a little bit better, don't be afraid to ask them. Uh, I'll show you here what this clean sand looks like when it comes out of the separator. So just looking at it here. So this is the, the sand that comes out of it. So there, it's still a little moist at this point. And some of the liquid will settle out. And then we'll stack it over here. And here it's, it's still got some liquid, but it's quite a bit uh, drier than it, than it is straight out of the separator. We'll let it sit for at least half a day and then we'll put it back into our free stalls. Uh, yeah, it's like I said at the beginning of the video, it, there's a lot going on in this room. A lot of motors, saugers, uh, separators, pumps. It takes quite a bit to get the sand separated out, but we feel it's worth it for cow comfort and cow health. So we just uh, deal with the headaches in here, I guess. So we, uh, we started with sand right away in 2008. We had a lot of issues the first couple years because this building was not heated and it was really set up a lot different than it is today. But we've um, constantly been making improvements in here, changing things up and it's, uh, it's working fairly well for us now or at least we think it is. We, uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, preventative maintenance in here, I guess. Over the years, we've kind of figured out what to watch for, uh, certain wear points that need to be uh, looked at often, and uh, yeah, S set up pretty good now, I guess. Uh, works well for us. I wish uh, if we'd start over from scratch, I'd probably lay this building out quite a bit different than it is today, but it, uh, yeah, this is what we have to work with, and works for us, I guess. So I, uh, I think that'll be it for today's video. If you guys have questions, don't be afraid to ask them and I'll, uh, I'll definitely try to answer them either in the comments or in another video if, uh, if there's a lot of questions about a certain thing that's going on in here or if you'd like me to uh, better explain some of the things going on in here. Uh, definitely let me know and uh, thanks for watching. We'll uh, hopefully see you in the next video.